Hello everyone, it's Lynn again. I am going to be a senior this year. I turn 18 in two months, and in a year from now, I'll be starting college. I mean, hopefully. Hopefully some college likes me enough to accept me and give me enough money so I'm not crippled by student debt. I can't believe that I'm so old and that I'll be going into my last year of high school. It's all very nostalgic for me because it felt like yesterday when I was a freshman. So yes, I'm scared of adults. I mean, who isn't? But I'm really excited for senior year. I still have a month left of break, but here I am filming a video about going back to school. Yep, I'm a nerd. <laughs> so yes, today I'm going to be packing my backpack for senior year. I recently just got a brand new Herschel backpack. It's beautiful, it's blue, and I'm very excited to put some new patches and pins on it. And since I'm such a hoe for stationery, I'll be showing you guys some of the school supplies that I got. And yeah, without further ado, let's go. Boop, 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 boop. That's an accurate representation of what my back is gonna sound like in 10 years because I carry way too much stuff in my backpack. Hello, first thing we're gonna do is put the patches on to my backpack, which I will do mostly using an iron because I'm too lazy to sew things on. Here is my hot iron. Don't worry, I will be using safety precaution. I just realized that my Gudotama patch is not an iron-on patch, so I'm gonna sew it on the old-fashioned way. Why won't you? Ah, success. I'm done. All the patches are now secured and fastened onto my backpack. And now it's enamel pin time. And I love pins and I have way too many of them. I started collecting them when I was in 7th or 8th grade and I get them everywhere. I get them on Etsy shops, I get them while I'm traveling as souvenirs. So I'm gonna pick a couple to put onto my backpack and jazz it up, show you my personality. done with putting all the pins on my backpack and it looks great it's about 10 times heavier now because pins are so heavy i will sacrifice my years of standing up straight for the cuteness of my backpack also one of my friends jen hello jen if you're watching this thank you made me a little friendship bracelet keychain thingamajigger and i'm gonna put this onto one of the zippers and always have her in my heart <laughs> Now DIY school supply time. This is very 2013 lifestyle YouTuber Alicia Marie Ava Gutowski goodness and I am here for it. And I've been neglecting decorating my school supplies. It's not really a big deal once you get to high school. I'm gonna decorate my school supplies and feel like 13 year old me again because nostalgia. I am going to revamp this binder that I've had for three years and still won't throw away because it's still in pretty good condition. And I have this Daiso notebook that I'm gonna put something on top of. Look at me. Okay, now that 
my backpack is jazzified and all my school supplies are DIY'd. I'm going to go over what I'm gonna be putting into this sucker. So I'll be showing you guys the rest of my school supplies and all the essentials that I'll be carrying with me. Firstly, I have that binder that I made the collage for. I'm pretty much gonna use this for all my classes just to store handouts. For now, I just have a bunch of hole punched copy paper in there for note taking. And then I have a couple of notebooks here. Firstly, I have this five star one that has a little sticker that I put on it. You may think this is your standard spiral notebook, but actually it has grid paper on the inside because math. I'm gonna be using this for AP statistics next year for note taking and whatever I need to do in AP statistics. I don't know, math, math-like things, I suppose. And talking about AP stats, I'll be carrying around my TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. The next couple of items are gonna be from Daiso because I went there when I was in California. And if Lynn walks into a Daiso, she's gonna, she's not gonna come out empty-handed. I had these two notebooks. The craft paper notebook is a standard line notebook, and I plan to use this for English. And the creamy white one that kind of looks like a faux composition notebook with the cover design has blank pages so I plan on using this one to make graphic organizers also from Daiso I have a pencil case which is very small I have a bad habit of carrying around a lot of writing utensils I don't use because I think what if I need this color better pack it in my pencil case so I have purposely gotten a smaller one so I am forced to choose the colors that I will actually use to pack with me as for writing utensils I used a pilot juice pens in 0.38. If you were to ask Lynn if she has a holy grail of pens, these are it. Then I have the mild liners. And I have your standard pilot G2 pen also in 0.38. And then I have my micron pen, which I use for drawing. And then lastly, I have a little mono eraser. I don't even have a pencil in my pencil case because I don't use pencils. I, I just I just don't like pencils whatsoever. I'll take a pen over a pencil any day. But I saw this at Daiso and I thought it was too cute not to buy. So now I just have an eraser. Um, so, whoop. I have this five star folder. This is gonna be my music folder since I am a music kid. Lastly, for the big pocket, I have my sketchbook. And it's just a standard moleskin sketchbook. And it's a sketchbook, you know, you, you sketch stuff. And it's a book, pretty self-explanatory. I have a ton of post-it tabs, like a ton, because I love annotating books. And I'm taking AP Literature next year, so it'll be a lot of reading. I also got this from Daiso, and it's correction tape, because, you know, I'm not perfect. And sometimes you just gotta white out your entire life so that the pain goes away. I also have a glue stick for, I don't know, gluing things. And a Sharpie uh, for vandalizing. Moving on to the non-stationary school supply section of my backpack. The water bottle because gosh darn it Lynn, you need to stay hydrated. This water bottle is one I got from a school fundraiser and then I stuck a bunch of stickers onto it. Most of the stickers are from Redbubble but I also got a few from Etsy shops and some are from brand aids I love like this Glossier one right here. I don't even care about my grades this year. Like my only goal for senior year is to stay hydrated and not pass out. <laughs> Secondly, I have this little sanitary bag that I have like tampons and pads in and I also have a glasses cleaner because your girl is bespectacled. I have a chapstick and the Vaseline one is my favorite. I love the little pot. It's so adorable. Look at it. I love miniature things. Don't want to be living that chap lips life. Mm -mm. And then I have my phone because I am a millennial. And with my phone, I'll be carrying around my earbuds because you know, we gotta listen to some bops. That is my backpack for senior year. And I can't believe it's here, but it's here. And I'm so excited. And I hope you guys are just as excited for getting back to school if you are going back to school as I am. Thank you for letting me have an excuse to rant about my love for stationery and do all these cutesy things that I always watch other YouTubers do when I was growing up. And I hope you guys have a great school year. Remember to self-care, hydrate, and get them grades. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>